So we live on a busy road, so I put up a fence for our pets to keep them safe, but not like a permanent fence, not a heavy duty, sturdy fence, not one that's, you know, there to protect like our valuable things or, or anything like that. That's not the type of fence it is. That's not the purpose. It's because we live off of a busy road and the cats and the dogs, like if they get, let the cats run out of the house, I don't want them running straight, you know, sometimes Floki, if he gets, if they want to dart out or something, or he's chasing something, he's not paying attention. They would run right out to that road and not even notice the cars, right? I don't want that to happen. That's the purpose of the fence. I don't want the dogs to just be chasing a person or, or, you know, run right into the road also or anything like that. It's not actually, the dogs could get out of the fence. They could knock it over if they tried hard. It's a five foot fence. It's, um, it's like the green gardening kind of like chicken wire kind of fence, but it's like the gardening, it's green and you don't see it as much. It's kind of, it, you can't hardly see it at all unless you're right up on it because it blends in, even though it's five foot when you're far away, it just kind of blends in. But, um, so, and we have poles all around it, five foot poles, right? Well, you can lift it out of the ground. You can lift the pole out of the ground with the fence and move it. Like literally it's so, and then just put it in. Then you do, it has little things on the bottom where you use your foot to stomp this, um, stake into the ground so that it stays or you take a mallet to the top. Well, it's that kind of fence. So, it's not there to keep our stuff safe or, you know, I mean, if someone was to walk into the yard because we do live on a main road, it would prevent them from just randomly nonchalantly going into our yard, like sneakiness because in, you know, just that kind of thing, because if they got into it, they would actually have to physically move the fence. They would have to actually do some kind of work to um, consciously have to put the fence to the side or whatever. They could do it easily, but they're doing it intentionally if it comes to that. And that's important to me that that's under, that that's evident, you know? So because I don't, I think something, well, and something that did happen, I think, well, the fence didn't prevent it, but I think it could have enticed it. But people who don't know why our fence is up could assume that, you know, we're naive or something or like, they think that fence is going to keep us out of their yard, but that's not why it's there. It's so my dogs don't get hit by a car and my cat doesn't get hit by a car. And we don't even leave them outside by themselves either. We're, the cats don't go out currently at all. And um, the dogs, whenever we take them out multiple times a day, but we're out there with them the entire time. We do not go inside and leave the dogs outside. They're in our sight. But the fence still needs to be there because we have two dogs and they take off or, you know, they chase things and cats could sneak out the door. And the whole purpose is so if they do, there's a fence that stops them. So they notice the cars so that they don't just run, not notice it. That would be, that, that would be awful. But JJ left his bikes out last night on the porch and I kept telling him, put your bikes away, put them either in the shed or put them in between the house and the shed. You cannot leave your bikes on the porch. He did not listen. I told him again yesterday. It was getting dark. I said, your bikes are still out. You got to put your bikes up. Put your bikes up. Never happened. This morning, Parker gets up and takes the dogs outside. Doesn't notice that the fence is down. The fence is completely down. He does notice because each dog goes separate directions out of the yard. And he's like, what the? So he doesn't know which one to chase. Well, Gus go. Oh, I don't know which one went, which went where. I think. But one went towards the road, one went towards the alley. He went to chase the one who went towards the road because they could get hit by cars more easily than the one that goes the back way towards the alley. So he's frustrated. He did not know. You know, he's like, shit. So, and then when he gets the dogs, gets them back in, he notices that Jay's mountain bike is gone. So Jay's mountain bike is missing. So I assume whomever taken it, which there's people who walk up and down that road all the time. UD is right there. We're like, we're like on Brown street, right? Like literally you hear like, I don't, I call them kids. They're not kids, but I mean, there's like, there's people walk, you hear people outside walking down the street all the time. And we live right by a college. So anyways, um, whatever happened, you know, someone, maybe they were tipsy or whatever. It's like, Oh, I don't want to walk. I'm going to just take that bike. They took the mountain bike. They knocked down the fence to do so. Or they, I don't know what, how, or why the whole fence got knocked down, but it did. Who knows what happened? 
but the point is, as I told them, is defense isn't there to keep our stuff, sta- our stuff safe. Why leave something laying out for somebody to just, for whatever reason they had going on, they don't know why we had the fence. They didn't know that knocking the fence down wasn't just, you know, taking a bike from naive people who thought that this little fence would keep somebody from taking their bike and maybe knocking it down was just to show these naive people how stupid that is. They don't know that the reason it was there was to keep our pets safe, to keep them from running straight onto the road. And I'm sure if they knew that them knocking the fence down, I mean, taking the bike and then knocking the fence down, whatever, that our pets could have gotten hit. And that was a whole reason for the thing that they, I'm sure they did not know that was not aware of it. They don't know us. It's not personal towards us because they don't even know who we are or know what anything about it. Who knows whatever was going through their mind or who took the bike or why they took the bike. And really, I mean, yeah, that sucks. It sucks for JJ. It does. But thank God the dogs did not get hit by a car. That's the main thing. That was the whole purpose of the fence. But anyways, I'm frustrated that, you know, we've been dealing with that now. And it's like today, Jay just, he liked that bike, but his other bike's still there. They only took one bike. They didn't take anything else. So I know that's why I'm thinking it was some, something weird and nobody's perfect. We're not perfect. You can't expect people to be perfect. We can't leave our bikes just sitting there out where people, college kids even, who are figuring themselves out and all, you know, they're away from their parents who maybe are very strict and they're trying to to come into their own, you know what I mean? It's like, come on, you don't leave yourself sitting there for something like that. That's, that's being responsible and taking care of your stuff, putting it away. That's part of taking care of your things. That's a lesson learned. And I don't know. So that's something that happened today. I figured I'd share that with you. It's one of the many things that (laughs) life, 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 busy, busy, more out now and stop. There's, that's just a little segment of what happened today amongst everything else, but, and everything that continues. All right, bye.